Hello, Omar Kazarski here, Creative Director of Bauer Web Solutions. In this video, I'm going to give you a general overview of the WordPress administrative dashboard uh, version 4.4.2, which is the latest version as of this video. So before we do that, I just wanted to show you, here is the demo WordPress site that we have created and as you can see we have a page for our home page a services page a contact page and a news page which lists all of the blog posts for our WordPress site on the right hand side we have a column here that gives us various different choices like a search bar and a list of recent posts and categories so this right sidebar is including things known in WordPress as widgets so when we get to that section of the admin you'll see this is where we control that area here so I'm going to log in to my WordPress site and we would provide you with the web address for that login page as well as the username and password for an administrator. When you are logged in as an administrator, you will see this horizontal black bar across the top of your screen. That's how you know that you're logged in as an administrator. When you first logged in, you're presented with the dashboard. So the dashboard gives you just general overall um, activities regarding your site, how many posts you have currently, how many pages, what version you're running, etc. Underneath the dashboard is a section here that will uh, alert you if there's any updates available to the WordPress engine itself or any third-party modules or plugins that you've added. The next section is posts. So posts are your blog articles. Those are your news articles. Posts are different from pages in that number one they are listed in chronological order and number two posts can be categorized into different categories so within this section of the admin under posts I can go to categories I can create various post categories so if I'm writing blog posts on different topics such as uh, exercise or diet or technology I can create different categories and then as, uh, assign each post that I write to one or more of those categories the next section is media if I want to be able to add a picture or a PDF to one of my posts or one of my pages I would first upload it to the media library and then I will then have access to use that resource on one of my posts or pages. The next section is pages and this makes up the various pages of your website and through this section we could create new pages or edit existing ones or even entirely delete a page. This next section here is comments. WordPress uh, can allow your users if you configure it the correct way can allow your users to write their own comments on pages or posts most WordPress owners will usually just restrict commenting if they do decide to use it primarily just on posts so if you are using a WordPress site and you do have commenting enabled for posts here within the comments section this is where you would uh, administer those comments review them see if they're worthy to be posted up to the public reply to them or delete them this is where you would maintain your blog post comments in the appearance section this is where we deal with the overall visuals of the WordPress site with WordPress you can apply various skins or what they call themes to change the overall look of your site and each theme allows you to 
we customize it to a certain degree and each theme may give you different options to customize it than perhaps another one. Uh, in this appearance section we also have this area called widgets which I referred to previously. Widgets primarily, although not exclusively, but primarily do with the elements you see on a sidebar and in conjunction with certain themes will allow you to add widgets to either the top of your head your your header or the bottom of your pages in the footer or in some case in some cases with certain themes you can add widgets to certain areas of a given page like the home page also within the appearance section is this menus choice so in appearance and menus this is where you uh, create and edit your navigational menus and you have various other uh, editing capabilities to perhaps edit the uh, header or the background or the advanced editor and as I mentioned some themes might even give you additional theme options as well specific to that particular theme. The plugin section this is where you can add uh, functionality or modules to your site to give your uh, WordPress site uh, additional capabilities. Users, this is where we can add additional users to our site and give them different levels of access so we can have people just being able to uh, look at the site where other users might be able to add their own content or add their own articles or we can make someone an administrator which would give them full access to do anything and everything on the site. have a section here for tools which is not used all that often but it does give you some uh, options to import and export certain information in and out of your WordPress site. We have a general uh, settings area here where you can configure your WordPress to behave certain ways as far as how you write or post content, how people read or view your content in terms of viewing the uh, blog article posting, how we deal with discussions or commenting, and a few other various settings. The last choice here called Collapse Menu simply just collapses that left vertical column into a column that's less wide just represented by icons. You can still access all of the various sub choices via the drop down menu but you won't see the actual name of each section next to it. So if I click on this icon again it will expand that section. Alright, so that's a basic overview of the dashboard and WordPress version 4.4.2